what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's Minecraft here and today guys I'm going to be a, to do a quick video uh, regarding some comments that I got recently in some of my videos about the Asus VG uh, the Asus VG32 VQ that is the one that you are looking at the moment and is when you connect your PlayStation or your Xbox into the monitor that you don't have access to the game visuals and when I'm, when I'm talking about the game visuals is when you click on the back of the monitor on the joystick you can see that these three options on the top uh, they are not available the one on the top is the game visuals the second one is the blue light filter and the third one is the color settings and my PlayStation wants to turn off and I don't want that um, so you have two ways to do that or you turn off the HDR on your PlayStation and all the game visuals and all the settings they will be seen or you can use the PC and I will show you how uh, and basically you need to save the settings uh, of each individual individual um, gaming mode like the, the visual the gaming visual for each setting because you have four settings that you can choose and you can after use it on the PlayStation or Xbox let's go first for the one on the PlayStation so basically you just go to the settings on the top on the settings just go to screen and video and here instead of being automatic just turn it off okay it takes just a few seconds I would say well 30 seconds 40 seconds when you actually turn off the, the HDR and gets black and after it gets into the blue screen and after you can see so now if I will press again on the back you can see that all it's available now so you have the game visual you have the blue light filter and you have the color so and like that you can just change the scenario let me just go back uh, to the game and um, let's go back to the game you have here the scenario mode the racing mode cinema rts fps srgb and mobile mode so that is all the game visuals that you have uh, available uh, the thing is that you will not have the hdr as you can see the hdr is off because you turn it off on the playstation but if you want to keep it the hdr on you need to do it on the other way and i'm going to show you how can you do that so now i'm just going to go and pop into my monitor like on my PC I mean display port so here now you can choose which one you want to use and uh, or the center mode let's I'm just going to pick two of them I'm going to one of my favorites and is the one that I usually use uh, the most is the racing mode and the scenario mode and as well the FPS mode so but let's go for the racing mode I'm just going to settings just on the bottom and on the first setting just push save and yes so that is going to be the racing mode is going to be on the setting on the first setting and now I'm going to choose the scenery mode that it has much more um, color much more bright so I'm going now again to my favorite I'm going to the setting the second setting save and yes so now it's on on the settings I mean let's go back again to the console and now on the PlayStation, I'm going again on the settings on the top and changing to the HDR once again. So that is going to be black for a few seconds. Actually, this one was quick, but when when you were when you turn off 
it takes longer than it was right now to be honest so now it's the HDR on and going back to the game and you can see the HDR is on but the other ones they are not and I have the scenery mode that was the last one that that been um, changed while I was on my PC so let me just go and change for the setting one that it was the uh, that it was the racing mode so you just click on the top load and yes and you can see that is the racing mode and like that you can have the game visuals that you choose that you select the one that you like the most but as well you can have the HDR on as you can see on the top the HDR is on and another thing that you probably noticed already is that the output is in 4k but this is a 2k monitor and some people were asking that when connecting the PlayStation into this monitor uh, is it going to show 1440p no it doesn't because anyway the PlayStation it's still not compatible with 4040 unfortunately 1440 uh, hopefully Sony is going to update um, that soon uh, but I don't know when um, but when you connect your PlayStation with the output 4K is going to be seen as a 4K but theoretically speaking the monitor is going to adapt, adapt itself um, for the 2K but it shows as a 4K uh, so yeah guys so it's so simple to do that um, let me know if you have any isu any issues any other questions please leave a comment below i'm going to do as well a video showing all the game visuals as requested as well i'm going to pick probably two different games and i will be just making the comparison for you to see how it looks like in all the different modes any other questions you know always leave a comment and it will be more i will be more than happy to do a video about that if you enjoyed this video guys thumbs up if you still didn't subscribe my channel and you would like please push that red button and push the bell for you to be notified all the time when i upload any video or when i'm going live guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one peace love you all